Hi everybody, Brendan from c21teaching.com to you here. In today's Flip Teacher Professional Learning Class, we're going to be taking a look at a tool that I stumbled on recently called Checkmark Class. Now this is an add-on for Google Chrome that allows you to very quickly drop in feedback in a Google Doc when you're looking at student writing. So the way that it works is if I find a word, this one here for example, that has a spelling mistake, I can double click on the word and you can see that I get this blue overlay. Each one of these symbols uh, stands for a particular type of feedback. So if I f go with this one here, check spelling, it very simply drops in exactly that. This is really useful for that feedback where you are often giving it over and over uh, within the same piece of writing and also across the class. It makes it very simple to drop that in for you and you can also of course edit the comment to add in more detail if you do want. Uh, you can delete or you can link for that comment as well. There are quite a range of options for different types of feedback. So if you hover over the, uh, the, the blue bar, you can see each of those. Capitalization, fragment, sentence fragments, punctuation issues, spelling of course, uh, tense, comma splice, run on sentences, subject verb agreement, new, new paragraph, which is always a really good one, particularly for primary, checking the citation, a uh, spacing issue, Ref need the need to rephrase something, so if perhaps the wording is too cumbersome or is not uh, in the right format, something that's repetitive, something where evidence is needed. This is a particularly useful one uh, where you will often have students, I find anyway, um, giving you an argument without actually any evidence to support it. Uh, discussion needed, so they've a statement's been made but there's no actual discussion around that statement. Uh, some more detail is needed, so that there's not enough detail. Or, of course, you need to clarify the meaning of the idea. This is obviously not an exhaustive list of all of the feedback you would give in a piece of writing, but these are some of the most common ones. And you can add these very quickly um, to a piece of work um, simply by double-clicking on wherever it is that you need to put the feedback in and choosing the relevant piece of information. Now, I have found that you can't, for example, highlight a selection of text it need, it's a single word, so if you are using some of the more complex options on the bottom row here, what I would suggest is choose the last word in the sentence or the first word in the sentence, um, and perhaps come over and then edit the comments to um, you know, rephrase, please look at this sentence, a little bit more information there. It potentially just helps save you a little bit of time when it comes to putting down common pieces of feedback for student writing. That's all for this video. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget for more helpful FTPL videos to head to c21teaching.com.au. Thanks for watching.